Katja here at the Village Mercantile. I'm here with Daisy today. We're going to go over finding the right size crate for your dog. Um, typically this time of year we do uh, find that people need crates more often, whether they're traveling, they've got company over, or they're putting up the Christmas tree or decorations and they need their dog out of the way. Um, so we're going to go over a few things with you. They come in a box. They are really easy to assemble. Um, they're really lightweight and just takes a few snaps to get them together. So you do have to watch. You've got snaps on the sides and snaps on the top. So you bring it over and again watch your sides, your top, and then your back. Same thing. Make sure they clip in there and on the top. These particular ones that we stock have two entrances really great for training or just more versatile. They also come with dividers. So you can buy one um, that would be the right size for your puppy when they grow up. But in the meantime, to transition them into the size, you can use the divider. Um, also comes with handles because again, they are nice and lightweight. So you can just kind of move them around. So Daisy right now is in her proper size. Um, you want to make sure that your dog can stand up comfortably turn around but it doesn't have to be too roomy the idea is is that it's nice and snug and so they'll feel secure and safe uh, so you just need the length of their body and like i said enough to room to stand up and turn around so daisy come on out as you can see doesn't hit her back this particular crate would be too big for her although she probably likes how roomy it is but the idea again is to be a bit snug so they feel secured um, this one would be too small. Can you get in there? She likes her crate, so she doesn't mind. But again, when she stands up, she's hitting her back. So this is not a good size for her. Come on now. Keep back in. And we do sell different accessories. We've got different styles of mats for them. Uh, thick, thin, or you could leave them on the plastic because it leaves them off the wire mesh. So the plastic would just be fine. Um, also, some other accessories that we sell are um, little cups for feeders and waters and some toys and chew inserts for the toys uh, to keep them entertained while they're in their crate and if you guys have any questions and give us a call or sub by the store thank you